Hi, we're Ian and Julie. Follow us on our tiny homestead and our debt-free project of a lifetime, the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees, and all of this alongside our full-time jobs. Hi there, welcome back to the channel. And welcome to 2024. Hope you all had a good New Year's Eve, good parties. Um, that's it, holiday season over. Back Although, to work. we're having our last mince pie. We're terrible. For those in the UK, you'll know all about mince pies. Yeah. But in the US, it's like these are homemade little pastries with what's in it? There's like, like fruit. preserved fruits Preferred and things like fruits. that. Yeah. It's mainly for Christmas, but. Um, Julie bought quite a few cans of it. When I went back to see my dad, I came back with quite a few jars. So we're going to have mince pies for the oh, next yeah. few months. <laughs> <laughs> right, so back to projects. You saw in my last video that I abandoned my little concrete form. Um, I've now put that in. Uh, basically with rebar, it's a lot more sturdy. So we're going to get the OSB around that now and get that all backfilled, ready for concrete tomorrow. So hopefully all of that will be prepared. We've got the conduit. We've got all the cables, the earthing rods. We went to the suppliers yesterday. Right, should we get back to it? Finish no, his mince pie. I need to finish my mince pie. And uh, yeah, oh, back right. into the mud. We need um, garage slippers, Julie said, because <laughs> now we're in our welly boots. It's, oh my gosh. It's getting very muddy. Now I see the reason, the, um, where you have mud season in a lot of the places. That yeah, that's is. always fascinated us, mud well, season. Yeah, we now realize. Well, we've created our own little mud patch. Yeah. I'm just using some scrap OSB to extend my forms and then we're just going to backfill with that horrible clay mud and that will allow us not to use so much concrete. So I'm just going to quickly cut up some 60 by 25 OSBs. Putting these little strips in basically just to stop uh, too much concrete being used. <laughs> I'm just gonna backfill with all of this sort of clay muck. this moist clay out the bottom and then we're gonna just line it with a few rocks i'm keeping my distance i don't trust you Ian. right i'm gonna go and design my next form forgot i've got to drill a hole through the side of this osb to bring the conduit up and up to the pole so it's all incorporated into this concrete so it's only a short run we're going to take it over to this wall over here um, get it through the wall and then into the building and then have internal conduit that white conduit we have that will all run inside the building then so it's only this short run across here which i had to buy 25 meters of conduit for and it's only three meters long Is it past your inspection, Mr. Floki? So a New Year's resolution is to actually use the whiteboard we put up for a bit of planning. Anyway, so this uh, little form I've put up, so this is it here. So that's gonna be the top and then we're gonna have um, pretty much a load of concrete underneath. The pole is going to sit on a smaller version of this, probably about 50 centimetres high, like this, inside. And I'm just going to run these boards across here, so they're all nice and parallel and flat. Should have used a different colour, really, shouldn't I? And then put a template on the top of this with 
the flange, the base of the actual pole. And that's going to have six holes in it. So the bolts can go right down into the concrete. Now I'm thinking whether I put in another um, flat sort of thing on the end of the bolts just to stop it pulling up for um, wind load and things. And then here, Julie's just digging out a small trench. It's only got to be tiny, but we're having a hole here and the conduit is coming out there to the building, to the garage. And then this conduit will come up and just sit next to the bottom of the pipe. Um, so all of the solar cables, earth, and also um, any other sort of voltages that I might need. I don't know whether I'm going to put out a, an outdoor socket there or not. I don't think so. But um, yeah, and maybe a small light, a little DC light or something like that. So that's the plan. So I'm going to get on with this little section up here, form it, and then take it up, put it on, and then tomorrow we will um, get the concrete done. So uh, today's not miserable, but tomorrow's going to be a nice day. So we can get all that concrete done, put a tarp over the top, and we should be good to go after all the rain and the frost. How are you getting on? Can't believe a little trench has got me sweaty like this. Yeah. Jeez. Sweaty Betty. <laughs> sweaty Betty. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, I've had to reroute it a couple of times because there's. Oh. It doesn't have to go too deep because remember all gravel's going on top of this, so. I need these just a tad over 60. So they go over. And then I need the other one. Yeah, there's plenty. Screw these down to here first. So now I need to center this. So that is twenty five eight. Twenty five eight will be twelve and a half, twelve nine. Twelve nine. Well, nine. But you imperial guys are loving this. It's so much easier though in decimal instead of a fraction. I used to hate fractions. It's like using uh, the old Egyptian hieroglyphics, isn't it? Really, when you talk about fractions. So now I've got my base. So that'll be my little uh, top pad. I'm just going to drill out. 10 mil holes in here. Well, we'll tidy those up and we'll get those back up onto the main form. Time for conduit. Well, first of all, I've got to position my upper form. Let me do that now. 17. I'm bring him under. So now I'm just going to take off this template because we need to use, have access for the concrete to pour underneath. There. So just this center part here will be filled with concrete. And then once it's sort of gone off a little while, the next day, I'll take this form off. I can get the screws either side, take all that off, and then we can make it look all nice around. I'm hoping, I haven't done one of these for such a long time, 
in a previous life, I installed satellite earth stations, big, big earth stations for um, communications and uh, uh, satellite tracking stations. So uh, this is quite small scale, but um, all the same principles, I hope. It's been 20 years since I've done it, so I'm hoping I remembered. Good morning, back on site. Next day, beautiful day. It actually started raining quite a bit as you saw yesterday. So um, we got the forms on and uh, we're ready for concrete. Just got to do the bolts. So I'm going to do those bolts now and drop those into that um, template I made. The form is all ready. Um, I'm going to lay off putting in the earth rods just at the moment. We just got to get this concrete down because the next couple of days are just going to be awful. Lots of rain, lots of frost. Um, and warnings of snow down to our level. So uh, maybe Saturday night, we could be all white. So I wanna clear as much as possible um, and get everything prepared. I've got to prime my water again because we haven't used the water over there for quite some time. So it's all dropped down. I do need to get that non-return valve and the water um, automatic regulator thingy me bob. So while I prepare all the uh, the concrete mixer and everything else, get this water done, Julie's just waiting for a hay delivery. Um, Mr. Tyson is eating quite a lot of hay at the moment, so um, we're going to get that delivered. A few other things for the rally car, and uh, I'll go and pick her up in a minute, and we'll get on with it. All right, so if you're new to the channel, we installed a 4,000 litre tank underground just behind this um, wall and I've put in a pump uh, under this big stone. So I'm just going to see whether actually it was just a blockage. So. No, I've got to prime him. I've got my little contraption all set up. I've just glued a couple of spacer blocks just on the bottom there. And that's just to raise this wooden pad off the top of the concrete while the concrete goes off. So I'll put this in, fill halfway up with concrete to cover this metal plate, which is acting as a stopper. And then I'll take the wooden plaque off, refill with concrete until I get a nice level trowel it off and then place the wooden, hopefully it won't push down into the concrete further wall, but the wooden plaque on top to space out the bolts ready for my, um, my flange plate. Right, I'm gonna let that set off. I'm gonna go and pick Julie up now. Hopefully she's all ready and the hay's been delivered and then we'll be back in a jiffy. Just got back, Ian's been busy this morning. My hay's been delivered. I just need Ian now when we get back to um, help me roll it into my barn because the farmer just literally dropped it off at the gate. But uh, yeah, he's been a busy beaver so I think I better start working as well. <laughs>
These bags are quite old, as I said, they're probably about 18 months old now, so they're a little lumpy, so we may as well use them. Not too bad for being out in the um, outside all that time, though. Just supplemented with a couple of buckets of um, sand and gravel mix because it is too sloppy. We've only got three bags left. It hasn't made a, a mark on it yet. So I'm going to see if this one's any better. Uh, here we go. I think we'll get uh, more buckets of sand and gravel just to give it some substance. This um, cheap bags aren't brilliant. This is like um, the last mix. I'm hoping it's a bit more sturdy. I won't put so much liquid in this one so we can get that top section raised above so it just doesn't slump all underneath. another sandwich come back to let this go off a tiny bit and then I'll take the lid off and put that last little section in the supplier of our mini excavator they've been really overwhelmed with interest following all the videos that we've been putting out and um, as a little thank you totally out of the blue um, and we're not affiliated to them in any way they contacted in to say as a thank you, they're sending him a prezi. Um, we've been joking because it's been a little while now and we've heard nothing. And we've been joking that, oh, it's probably sunk at the bottom of the Red Sea by the Hooty Rebels, all that trouble that's going on. But last night when we got back from here, we received an email from them saying, oh, it's arrived at the port. And yeah, they've confirmed they're delivering it on Monday. So Monday's going to be really exciting for, for both of us, more so we and the me, but yeah. It's going to be exciting. So in next week's video, what I'm rambling on about now, you're going to get to see. Hopefully, oh, we're excited. And hopefully all this will be gone. I don't have to look at a mess any longer. It's all finished. We're, um, we've covered him all up with lots of little bits of wood just to protect it. And yeah, it uh, looks okay. Just a small amount of concrete seems to take forever. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this one hole, I just can't believe how much we've got through just to fill it. That's Dr. George, she had a You're the, you're the stuff. Yeah, go. Oh, <laughs> Twisting. Oh, you're getting good at this. Oh, God. 
it is a little muddy. All right, let's have a look. most of the ridges out it's still quite soft so i'm just going to try and smooth them off a bit so i've just covered this up with a couple of boards i'm going to leave it now um i don't want to make any more mess uh i think i've got it in time for to lose all those ridges and everything um as i said it's the first time i've built such a structure with a little extra piece on top i'm hoping it'll look okay and i did that basically just so I wouldn't have all water running on some metal post. It actually allows it to run off. So I'm going to go back to the garage now and keep working on my car. Got my radiator. I'll show you that now and uh, how it compares to the, the other modern one I used to have, um, which didn't work so well. So I'll see you back in the garage. <laughs> it's not much warmer in this garage. Well, as you can see, all the car is in bits. Um, I've just had the... Um, the boot lid back it was getting a bit messy um i had a badge on there i had to take it off left a load of holes so i've had that quickly resprayed by a local garage um got my radiator here uh that's come out pretty good that's the original radiator two-day turnaround by a little um fabricator in toulouse so that is all ready to go uh what else <laughs> the engine is still not bolted in um I'm going to raise the car up in a minute, but I'm doing quite a lot of electrical work. So as you can see, I've still got all my fan here. Um, this is my voltage meter. Uh, all the little bulbs and everything were rattling out and really annoying. Uh, so every time you go over bumps and everything, it basically uh, all flickers like a flipping Christmas tree. So um, I started that work and it just got worse and worse because I built all the dials into the back of the dash, very nice, tight, all um, intricate wiring. And then I put the dash into the car. But now I'm back underneath it. The wires are all so short, I can't really work on it. So I've got to just test this one because uh, a spark came off it as I was trying to get the wires back in. Um, must not have got them on the right pins. So I'm going to just test them with a uh, little battery here, get everything working and then make some extension wires and put those in um, so I can actually just push it through the front of the dash and then screw it on. Uh, I got my new fire extinguisher. The other one was perfectly fine, but I've been told when scrutineering in Milan, the Italians are really hot on the date. So this one is January 2024. So they can't uh, pick me up on uh, not having the proper fire extinguisher. Right, lots to do. I'm starting to fill out the front. Um, fuel is going to be an issue because it is only a 25 litre tank. So what's that, about four or five gallon. So it doesn't get you far. So I've got another 20 litres in the front. Ooh, that's my garage door shutting. Um, I've basically got uh, compressors, battery boosters, all my tools are gonna go in there and all my spares. I've even got a spare distributor now, all tested, all labeled up. So even in the dark, I can just ram that in, put them all on the right spark plugs um, and get that going. My intercom is all being tested. Um, so I've got to put that back in, it's just so much cable. Even the little old gulp GoPro that I'll have on the back of the roll bar, um, that always makes some good viewing. So we're getting there. I've got three weeks now before we actually put this car on the trailer and head off to Milan. Oh yeah, I've actually got to get it to the um, test center for its uh, MOT, for its uh, control technique. Um, normally this car wouldn't need it, but it's not been registered as a collector's car. So this is a standard road car. Um, so every two years in France, you have to have them tested and then uh, a little certificate goes on the windscreen. Um, realistically, if I just sent off to register this as a collection car, it would never need another test at all. And um, I'll see how it goes because, you know, emissions, it's a brand new engine. So I'm assuming the emissions will be all good. 
but um, you know, once it gets a little bit older, the emissions might fail it. So, um, and also because of the age of the car, certain cities now in France, you can't go in at certain times, but collector's cars, you're allowed to go in at any time or fingers crossed you can. Right, I'm gonna get on and get some of this stuff done. Well, that's it all installed. I had to glue this little bracket here. There's always something that breaks, isn't it? So I've uh, glued that on, Harold dieted. Looks all right, nice and clean. The next stage is to lower the car down onto the engine, but it's a lot easier with Julie out here. She can be on the little buttons and um, I'll lower it. Uh, it can see exactly where it's got to go. Um, she's inside at the moment doing our tea. So, I've got to get this video edited. We will see you next Sunday, unless there's an update on Wednesday about the car, because um, I'm really excited about getting this on the road, uh, hopefully tomorrow, to get all tested. We'll see you next Sunday. Have a great week. Put your little cheeky thumbs up and share. Share the video. We're nearly at 30,000. It's taken a long time to get that last little bit, but um, yeah, it's great. Right, we'll see you later. Bye.